having a really amazing conversation about, I don't know really even where to start because it's not just about like, I, I think the conversation is about like freedom, like thinking free, only fans, open marriage, like flirting. I, okay, so it started with a, a girl sent me a video, which I should show you. I mean, it's, she's so cute. Like, you know, her accent, her English accent was just so, I love you, you know, and I thought, wow, like this feels good. Like, and, and it made her feel good. Cause she's like, send me a voice note. Your voice is, so, voice is so hot. And I was like, you know, it's five in the morning. I'm going, and she's like, oh my God, I didn't realize the time difference or whatever. I'm really bad at the English accent thing. But I just thought of like, posting a video like, yo, like, I don't have a problem with the naked body. I don't have a problem with sex. So why would I have a problem with you sending that stuff to me? And like, my wife doesn't have a problem with it either, which is so cool that we're able to. No, I think it's important that you, like yesterday I drove away and I was like, you look, <laughs> you look so hot. But like, you know I love you. You know I think you're hot. I mean, of course it feels good because you've been doing good and stuff, but like, I don't want you to be validated from other women. I mean, we only, we're fucking 37. Like, mm -hmm. how many years? Right. I mean, you can be, you can look really good at 50, you can look really good at 60, but like, who doesn't want to be complimented and feel good about themselves? And I want that for you. And I like seeing that, because then I'm like, yeah, that's mine. Yeah. And it turns me on. Yeah. Why even get married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I was going to say is most people and don't feel that way because they succumb to their fears and insecurities and society is very much like that too like so this whole time as we're growing and evolving and sharing our truth with the world like i've been feeling like almost guilty but like the guilt is really coming from the money we're making um on only fans but hey little boy but but the results all the people flocking to us and relating to what we're going through and that sh tells me that there is something wrong with society right and that people shouldn't be like living you know when your partner leaves town and all you're worried about is what they're gonna do i mean you literally like said you wanted to be with other men and someone said you're gonna get your back phone out i still wasn't really even tripping on you and what you were doing. It was kind of like, well, whatever she's gonna do is what she wants to do. And I, 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 that's why I posted that one and I said, I love you. I, I mean, guess, I guess I guess that's not because, true. I was, I did look at your story a few times. You did? Yeah, and I was like, what's she doing? Like, Wow, you normally never do, which is good. It's, no, it wasn't, it wasn't just. I feel like it's also really good to have like a healthy jealousy. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes like you're allowed to be open. I mean, you're allowed to do that, remember? those girls you were sending, they sent me. But there was other times where maybe something would pop up on your phone and I was like, should I look, should I not look? And I'm like, I like like that because it's like, mm. I should always know that like you're like, I do know, but it's just for a reminder. Well, like you're a cat. And well, yeah, I mean, someone there's definitely. You. Billy had a really good point last night too. He said, you know, falling back a little bit could be a good thing because you're gonna, in the long run, just because you'll attract the right kinds of people because it would be nice for us to be able to use that page for like a, for like what it's called, only fans. It's for our fans. How did that, it's like those two words together have become like this thing and they shouldn't be. It shouldn't be just an, a sex intimate, like, like, hinting at porn it shouldn't be that it should be a site where people can go to get exclusive content like we're gonna post our pilot on that website we're gonna post this conversation on that website well no this is gonna go on youtube but because the thing is for, for for i don't really think that we're there i don't think that that site is quite there yet i don't think that like the people that are going there did you hear Nicki Minaj or cardi b one of them got one cardi b cardi i subscribed Oh, really? Yeah, I'm like doing my research, but whatever. Here, the point is, is that we're, so I don't know. I, I, I hope that you can be open-minded. Yeah, be open-minded and, and, and comfortable enough to like really speak your truth with love 
to your partner and whoever else in your life. Like I deal with, I do this stuff with Tim. And when I'm able to get honest with my business partner in ways that like, it's look, I get, it's scary to get vulnerable with someone, you know, it's scary. What is that? Maybe more like him. Yeah, that's not Billy. <laughs> Man, your body is just, it's really just, it's out of line almost at this point. You what know was what? that? <laughs> my dance. I was gonna make a TikTok about my fears. I had some challenges. Um, in, like what? In New York, just like trying to like find like battle in my brain, uh, the balance of like like Sean bought me some. Uh, the the the. the I mean, it? she brought the scale, <laughs> so she can weigh her food. But I didn't weigh all of it. But um, and I added a few things because I was like. You know, I wanted to have like some flexibility, you know, like, yes, I'm in the middle of this plan. There's no, like, I chose how many weeks, there's no deadline. So I was like, I'm in New York, I'm with my friend. He likes when I eat. And like, so he bought me these like, um, what is that sugar? Smart sweets. And I was like, I wanted to eat all of it. And I'm like, no. Like, oh, right. You showed me the, yeah, the, the, the photo. I didn't really understand. I was like, that's not, I said, We're having you're like, I'm cheating. I'm like, that's like, those are like. I, no, I said we're gonna rage, and I showed all the weed and the smart sweets. Yeah, but you but, showed me like healthy gummy bears that are just like, well, just like ten calories. No, there's two hundred in the whole bag, and it's like in the whole bag. Yeah, but I'm trying to learn. Yeah, I ate a whole fucking tub no, of Haagen Dazs. No, it's like know, in order for me to stay small, I have to continue to eat small portions. I think pretty yeah. much forever, or not get carried away. I mean, unless I'm building weight, but like. It was just such a battle. And then I saw, and I just at some point I had to say it out loud to Sean's boyfriend, to Jeff, because I feel like, I don't know, Sean kind of gets it. He's just like pretty fortunate. He can eat and drink how he wants and like mm -hmm. be okay. But I had, to, I like realized by saying it out loud to Jeff that I would like, it took a lot of the anxiety away from it, from me, from it. Cause mm -hmm. when I started to brew in my head about it, it got so gnarly that I was like, oh, I'm gonna come home and completely fall off. Like, I, I went to New York, mm. I got my photos with Lonnie, uh, I've started to cheat, I'm gonna start <laughs> adding things, like, and this mm -hmm. is the slippery slope and how it goes. And I'm like, mm -hmm. no, I like fully understand the mental now, and like, yeah. it's in my wow. mind, there's no secret formula of drive. Like, mm -hmm. I make the decision every single day, and I want to look like this my entire life, the rest of my life, you know? Um, yeah. I mean, there's I, just a I, lot I, of fear surrounding it. And just, it was incredible by just saying out loud, like, I have this fear and like, I'm struggling right now. Like I couldn't stop thinking about the smart suites. And I was like, you're going to feel so much better. Like you had a bunch after dinner, like you're done. You ate half of them, put it away. And mm -hmm. it was, when you make the right decisions, it gets easier to make the right decisions. Like I already tasted the smart suite. I already know what it tastes like. If I continue to eat it, it's just tasting the same. Why? Why? Like, just learn to have a little. Yeah, I, 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 I will say that I think that you've definitely inspired me and helped me. And I'm like, it's learning to lose. That's really what it comes down to. It, to lose it, it's learning to lose, like, like learning to be able to like make little mistakes yeah. and not throw the mistake. whole thing yeah, away. Yeah. It's not even a mistake. It's just learning to like. Like, I'm feeling really good right now because I got back in. Yeah. But getting, like, going back That's in, getting back in is like, it's like, it's like being willing to play again after you've lost. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't even want to play the game if I lose. I'm not even... Like I'm done, but that's the, that's the wrong way to think about it. I need to learn to lose so that I enjoy playing whatever the game is. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what the game is. There's so many different games in this thing called life. There's games when it comes to your work, with your health, with your eating, with your relationship. It's all different games. And, and if you can't recover from like a fight or a cheat day or a fucking... Uh, you know, if, if, if you lose a client or it's like all these little negative things that get me so down on myself 
that I like give up. Yeah. And that's where we fuck up. That's where we fuck up. So it's relatable to all aspects of life. So if you want to support that, learningtolose.com. Thanks for watching.